Hi guys, James Wilder Design here. Today I'm going to talk you through really briefly how to create this um, popular typography effect. It's a kind of like an echo kinetic effect using Adobe After Effects. So first things first, what we'll do is we'll create a text layer. Let's put the cap lock on and write echo. Now as you can see I've got my fill colour set to match the background with a nice purple and my stroke a nice bold white. You can mess with the um, strength of the stroke there. I think around five looks pretty cool. Now we'll press the P on the keyboard selecting your text layer. Um, press, make sure you're at the start of the timeline actually, it's important. Um, we'll make this a bit longer as well. And what we'll do is we'll click the stopwatch here to create our first keyframe. Go to around two seconds in. Drag that down, that's going to create a new keyframe. Do the same again. Finishing off where we started more or less. Now if we play that, as you can see it's pretty uh, dull moving, it's not very nice. Not got the echo effect in place yet. So what we'll do is um, we'll select all our keyframes, press the F9 key on the keyboard, that's going to create make those keyframes ease in so it's going to make it a bit more dynamic and flowing as you can see next step is to go to the effects panel type in echo drag that to your text layer first things first change the echo operator to composite in front you can kind of mess around and experiment here to create different effects that this is my preference though let's change the number of echoes to around 30 again you can do whatever you like here um, now let's just play that from the start again here see how it looks Already, as you can see, we've already got that um, effect in place here. You can kind of speed up, make these um, keyframes a little bit closer together for a faster effect here. Um, I'll show you a few more of what these settings do. You can actually mess with the time. I don't really tend to use that one too much, but it's pretty cool. Let's see how that looks. Let's actually go backwards here now. So I usually just use uh, minus 0.003, I think. Go. and so if we mess with the decay you actually get like a, a kind of gradient opacity effect which is also pretty cool so yeah I kind of recommend just having a play of these settings see what you can come up with so yeah that's my tutorial on how to create this uh, kinetic typography effect let me know in the comments if you like this and if you want to see some more content like this thanks very much for watching